Oh, damn. Yo, roommates here, and welcome to a FIFA 23 player review for 86 rated winter wildcards. Reese Oxford. This card looks interesting. He stands six foot four inches tall. He has medium high work rates, good work rates. Those his preferred foot is right, and he's got four star weak foot, but only three star skill moves. His SBC is currently available for 33,000 coins, so not too much at all, and is available until the 10th of January. So you've got some time to complete him if you happen to want him. So he can play centre midfield, right back, or CDM. His club Augsburg. He's got the Bundesliga links and the English links I put an anchor on him which makes him the lengthy accelerate type so his acceleration is boosted up to 87 sprint speed up to 90 his shooting weird stats finishing low at 49 but then shot power 99 we'll try and test that in game long shots at 78 his passing he's also got 99 penalties by the way passing 99 short passing long passing at 89 not bad at all dribbling Agility low at 78, balance low at 67, but that does enable him to be lengthy. Reactions 97, ball control lower at 80, dribbling even lower at 74, composure all right at 84, defending boosted by the anchor, interceptions up to 91, heading accuracy up to 88, defensive awareness up to 90, standing tackle up to 97 and sliding tackle at 88. Physical stats. Again, it varies. Jumping up to 99 with the anchor. Stamina low at 73. We'll see how long he lasts in the game. Strength up to 99 with the anchor. And aggression quite high as well at 84. He hasn't got any traits. I'm going to be playing him next to Vieira in a 4-2-3-1 narrow in this team with the instruction of stay back. Might ask him to get forward now and then. But yeah, let's see how he plays. Look at that. Powerful run. Good ball. Moriente just couldn't get him behind there. Oh, good tackle on De Bruyne. He's a big lad, isn't he? Did really well there. Lost the ball there. Won that back well. Mm, Leal just stopped his run there. Nice accurate passes. He moves well enough with the ball. Nicely won. Oh, I thought I was who got there at the near post. I mean, he did, but just wide. They would have just liked him to stick his leg out and get that, but never mind. Nice pass through. Oh, saved by the keeper. I'm on the 60, well, 69th minute and he's absolutely shattered. So you probably want to look to sub him around this time, but I have been running a bit more than usual with him. Oh, just tried to get into the box there, but maybe he's just a bit tired now. Oh, look at the pass. Eee, unlucky. 56 free kick accuracy. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. 99 shot power. They look close, <laughs> but game over. <laughs> Shielded the ball well there, kept possession. Oh, look at that. Oh, powerful shot, couldn't get past Pope, corner kick. Oh, look at that, that was nice. Oh, Oxford's made a run here. Ah, he's come out, he tried to dink it, almost got lucky. Passing does feel really good and accurate. Good play there, good strength. Again, would it just like Otford to stick his leg out there and get that ball? Like Vieira there just ran to the ball to intercept. I'd like to see more of that from Oxford. Oh, 
Again there, I thought he could have stuck his leg out and got that one. Like there, Vieira just stuck his leg out and got that one. Oh, <laughs> damn. There's the 99 shot power. Okay, that was a rocket with his weaker foot. Good turn. Just feels pretty, pretty strong. Good acceleration. Oh, off the post, that's unlucky. Oxford dashing through, blocked off by Tamori, but it's a foul. Didn't fall over there. Again, around the 80th minute and Oxford is knackered. You'd want to take him off around now. Good inception there. Again, kept the pool quite well under pressure there. And finds the pass. Again, he's, he's quite good on the ball for a big man. Low agility and balance as well. Again, keeps the ball. Won the ball back well there. Oh my god, how'd he keep the ball there? Just feels quite good on the ball. Look at that power. Oh, I'm lucky with the time finesse. Oh, Oxford got in at the near post there. Don't know where the keeper was, but finds the back of the net. Can look at the power, man. Ah, mistimed it. But he's so powerful when he's running and he doesn't seem to fall over and he tends to keep the ball usually. One out in the air, ahead of Mbappe. Oh, Oxford again. Oh, man, his weaker foot. It doesn't come off this time. Oh, my goodness. Oh, again, he sort of just stays up. Maybe that's just his strength. Loses the ball there, but you get the point. Oxford bulldozed him over, no foul by the ref. Good inception there. Nice pass. On the 80th minute. And his game's done. So after three games with Reese Oxford, we've got two goals, no assists. That's more than what I was expecting from the CDM position and my opinion on the card. But before I give that quickly, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. But yeah, my opinion... I mean, I see this car's got more down votes than up votes on Footbin, and I don't really see why. Maybe just because he's not as popular of a player as people would have wanted, but honestly, it's a solid card for the value. He's under 40k at the moment, and he gives you quite a lot. I mean, he's got some random stats like 99 penalties, 99 passing, and not the worst links. If you've got Bundesliga team or some English players, you can probably fit him in. So yeah, I think it's a good card for the value. I mean, his pace with the anchor, he's got the lengthy accelerate type. So he's got that instant acceleration that I like. And you saw him burst past players like they weren't even there at times. So impressed with the pace. He's very strong. He's got 99 strength with the anchor. So he's very powerful, strong. He's good on the ball. He can even turn in tight circles sometimes. Obviously, he hasn't got the best dribbling stats, but he felt quite good on the ball. And he jockeys quite well, quite agile, even though his agility stat isn't the best. And his passing, I mean, he's got 99 short passing, 89 long passing. So great with the passing. This card provides quite a lot for the value under 40k. I mean, the cons, 
I think he doesn't stick his leg out as much as I'd like. So he'd be quite near the ball pa being passed beside him. But he won't just stick his leg out and get the ball for you like someone like Vieira would. So... Yeah, no auto defending from him. You'll have to control him manually for that. I think that's the only con for me. Some, sometimes defensively, it was a bit, little bit of a passenger. He wasn't really cleaning up like someone like Vieira does. But again, he's not Vieira. He's 40k, considerably cheaper. And I'm sure you could do it cheaper if you've got some untradables in your club. So yeah, quite impressed with the value of this card. And I forgot to add to the cons of the card, his stamina. You're going to need to sub him probably around the 75th minute. So... As long as you have a good sub on the bench, just replace him and it's, it's all good. Hopefully you've won the game by then anyway. <laughs> so yeah, if you've got a Bundesliga team or some English players, I do recommend him. Under 40k, it's a steal. But that is only my opinion. Please like, subscribe and comment if you appreciate it. Take care.